it's mid-June when a hectic night between Kraushalten and Deitzer kicks off at the E17. The carriageway to Ghent is about to close for reconstruction. The traffic now has to use two narrowed traffic lanes through the central reservation towards the opposite lane. Alternative lineation is finished and extra barriers applied where necessary. These construction works, 11 kilometers, are the tailpiece of the total reconstruction of the E17 between Ghent and the West Flemish boundary. After months of intensive studies and planning, S. Weibo is now ready to deliver a dashing exploit. The activities will continue feverishly day and night until the very end. As Weibo first orchestrates a true piece of workmanship as conductor of a large flock of very skilled subcontractors, all shrewd breakout specialists. The largest part of the upper layer of reinforced concrete, the worn asphalt hard shoulder and the central reservation are removed within a week. The old sandwich layer is milled off, as is part of the foundation underneath. At the same time, smaller ground and waterworks for the newly planned route are already taking place, almost inconspicuously but very important for the future road user's comfort. In the meantime, the temporary concrete central at the wharf has been crowded. A massive supply of rubble to be recycled takes place. The mountains of fresh ingredients increase every minute. materials is as Weibo's top priority for the 21st century. Countless new machines and techniques have been developed, for example mobile brake and sieve systems. They deliver rubble granules to be reused. In this way, as Weibo literally contributes to a better environment. The breakout of the first eight kilometers are almost finished, when the reconstruction at the other side of the wharf is already started only 10 days after the construction works have started. Everything is on schedule. In Kraushalten, the concrete central is running on full force for the first time and produces more than 3,000 cubic meter roller concrete per 24 hours. You can compare this to an Olympic swimming pool with a depth of two and a half meters, filled entirely, produced on a daily basis. And 12 of them are needed. The roller concrete gives the planned route a new, stable and perfectly aligned foundation. It is covered by a five centimeter interim layer of asphalt, a side strip, a first strip of continuously reinforced concrete, a rain gutter, and finally, a second strip of reinforced concrete. After three weeks, the fresh asphalt sandwich layer is formed. This is the warmest work of the project. The asphalt has a temperature of almost 180 degrees. The combination with the summer heat means a tough job for the workers and the operators, but everyone dauntlessly continues.
As soon as the asphalt has cooled, the steel benders come into action. They create the armament for the concrete top layer. This is true handiwork, and only bruisers can deliver the job. Every bar is 14 meters long, 2 centimeters thick, and weighs 40 kilos. When they would make one long bar with them, they would run from Deitzer to Madrid. At the same time, another team is working on the concrete side gutter alongside the curb. The activities have been going on for one month when a first strip of continuous concrete is poured over the armament. The choice for concrete is no coincidence. It is more expensive than asphalt, but can be used a lot longer. No large maintenance activities will be needed between Ghent and the provincial boundary for the next 30 years. At the end of the project, a total amount of concrete will be used that can be compared to a massive concrete block with a height of 40 meters and as large as a soccer field. An enormous volume is needed to create this much concrete, more than 13 million litres. Another staggering number is the fuel consumption. Half a million litres is needed for all machines together. This part of the project cannot come to a halt, as the concrete has to have a seamless fit along the entire length. That is why they work 24 hours a day. No matter if it is day or night, everyone works without a stop. All workers, from assistants to engineers, realize the importance of the project and scrupulously execute their tasks. And that is an attitude that Aswebo considers very important. Halfway through August, the first strip of reinforced concrete has hardened. A machine drives over it to brush the residual concrete paste from between the pores. The reconstruction of the new acceleration and deceleration lanes in Deinzer are now in full swing and the construction of a concrete rain gutter takes place in the distance. A machine pours the gutter in the right shape, followed by a team of bricklayers to finish it with a trowel. Another team connects the rain gutter with the trenches towards the canal along the motorway. Other workers grind a contraction joint in the new concrete strip. For good drainage and to avoid damage caused by infiltration, the seam between the road and the gutter is filled with a warm joint paste. Everything goes so quickly. The second strip of reinforced concrete is ahead of schedule and the project management is satisfied. One and a half months after the start of the reconstruction activities, the final finish of the first eight of a total of 11 kilometers is in sight. Several hard shoulders are now constructed along the road, so drivers in need can make a safe stop. And then it's time for the last necessary details. Crash barriers are placed at strategic places, like at bridge pillars. And the accesses and exits get a fresh layer of asphalt. A new road surface is also flushed entirely, so it is dust free. This is important for the new lineation, but also to make sure that it doesn't cause any problems for the future traffic.
phase one is entirely finished, earlier than planned. The project management has played all its trumps to make it possible with its 500 employees and confidently looks forward to the rest of the activities. And not long after the activities, the moment has come the traffic holds absolute sway over this piece of motorway. And phase two, between the provincial boundary and Kraushautem, is about to start. Yeah. 